The Turkish state railways own and maintain all public railways in Turkey. This includes railway stations, ports, bridges and tunnels, yards and maintenance. The Turkish railway system is highly developed, connecting cities all around the country. Turkey has three main types of train routes with different goals, each serving a different purpose. The 50 million subway project, which no other country dared to take on, was eventually undertaken by China. Countries like the United States and Japan questioned China's ability to build strong infrastructure. However, China once again surprised the world by completing a successful subway project in Turkey in just six months. This joint project between China and Turkey set a new world record for subway construction in Istanbul, Turkey. Normally, subway projects take 18 to 24 months to complete, but the Chinese company finished it in less than half the time. The news of China's accomplishment caused a stir in the United States. China's advanced subway construction technology is evident not only in its extensive subway network within the country, but also in its assistance in building subways for other countries, including the United States. The decision to build a subway in Istanbul was made in January of the year 2022. Istanbul, a developed city and major tourist destination, lacked a subway system. Despite its high tourist traffic, transportation within the city was inconvenient. The Turkish government, inspired by China's subways, wanted to build an urban subway in Istanbul. However, due to Turkey's relatively backward infrastructure and economic development, many countries rejected the tender project, as China has always been willing to help others with a fearless spirit. The opening ceremony for a driverless high-speed metro manufacturing project undertaken by CRRC was held in Ankara, the country's first driverless metro project. China's first driverless metro project with a speed of 120 km per hour to be constructed overseas, becoming the first driverless metro line in Turkey. The driverless high-speed subway trains are being manufactured by CRRC Jeju Locomotive Co. With a maximum operating speed of 120 km per hour and a maximum capacity of 1,100 passengers, the train adopts the highest international-grade fully automatic operation system and is capable of completing unmanned start, stop, passenger loading and maintenance operations, meeting the needs of a variety of driverless operation scenarios. In addition, the newly developed rack-controlled traction system can effectively adapt to the needs of local ramp climbing, so that the train is designed for excellent performance and high speed and comfort during operation. The Istanbul Airport subway line is the first high-speed metro line in Turkey, and serves as an important transportation link between the airport and the city center. With an average daily capacity of 800,000 passengers, the entry of driverless high-speed metro technology into Turkey will not only benefit local, but also promote the localization process of Chinese technology and enterprises. The localization rate of the train manufacturing project reaches 60%, creating more than 200 jobs, which directly promoted the development of local rail transit industry. Global Times when travelers step out of the building and hit the bustling streets of this metropolis. In the previous, it could take them up to an hour and a half to reach the city center, but now, reducing the travel time to just 24 minutes. In your opinion, will there be joint projects between Turkey and China? If yes, what is it? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and share the video.